Alors ici, on est près de Vienne, sur un petit aérodrome qui s'appelle le Wiener Neustadt, où est installée l'usine Diamond, qui construit euh, la gamme des A, des A40, des A42, des A50, et des jets euh, entre l'Autriche et le Canada. And you will fly with me. Yes. Yeah. So you are happy with the aircraft? We can fly safely yes. today? Definitely. Otherwise I would, would not take you with me. Any risk? <laughs> I'm, I'm convinced about it. So you are a flight test? Yes. I mean, uh, you make all the stalls and the care yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can You can see whatever you Inverted want. Inverted flight too, yeah. I saw on the pictures. Uh, no acrobatics, probably. <laughs> some. The some better is not good enough. Not yet. We shot some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, do you feel the difference between the old and new G, G42? Yes, yes. Uh, so mainly mainly the performance um, has increased um, a lot. Uh, more take, more, um, more power take engine power and take off, also a little bit more performance in the climb. Okay. And, uh, and cruise speed? Cruise speed has improved and a uh, big advantage is what, uh, what I would say is the single engine performance. Okay. It's also a safety issue. And this is you mean with on one engine it climbs? It's a real climbing? Yeah, yeah we, we can, uh, we can um, uh, now hold the altitude in, on one engine on a much higher level than on the, the previous uh, engine. Yeah, it's and in, increased by a few thousand feet. Yeah. And what about usable load? Usable load is now, um, we have increased the takeoff mass to 1900 kilograms. That's an increase by over 100 kilograms. And the uh, uh, overwear with the engine and the. Yeah, and the. Uh, it's 80 kilograms? For, yeah, for, yeah. For, for 40 each? Uh, the, for usable for load. the usable load is um, uh, increased a little bit, yes. Uh, the payload also increased a little bit. And yeah, the cruise? The cruise? Yeah. The cruise speed? You, yeah. you want to uh, have the some numbers? The one, I mean. Uh, cruise speed is now at um, flight level 140 at 180 knots per speed. 180 cruise? But with a, with a max continuous power setting and with a um, max takeoff mass. Okay. Uh, so the and the normal cruise would be would be 75 percent power setting yeah. at max takeoff mass. It's uh, 175 knots no. per speed compared to the previous one. It's better, far better. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, it is better. Yeah. When we talk with uh, the A42 owners in France, mainly school, they say the performances in cruise are not there. Uh, what I am giving you is now. Uh, real numbers which are already um, reduced to, to uh, by calculation to standard conditions and they are conservative. This, this, those are the numbers uh, which go into the handbook. Uh, uh, si tu veux, à part uh, les nacelles, uh, les moteurs, uh, la verrière qui est un petit peu plus large, uh, l'avion est, est, est sensiblement identique à, au précédent avec un intérieur platinium qui est un peu amélioré. Et tel qu'il est en ce moment, il est en fin de, de certification. Et ça veut dire que, euh, peu probablement, il, il sera dans le commerce euh, fin d'année, début d'année prochaine. Mais il me disait, c'est pas à moi de, de dire ça. Quoi. Ce que je veux voir avec lui aussi, c'est les histoires de poids. Il y a en, au moins 45 kg de différence entre les deux moteurs. Ça fait 90 kg sur ah, un ouais. DA42. Il dit qu'il rajouter 100 kg. Qui vont, qui vont voir comment, euh, j'aimerais bien voir comment est-ce qu'ils vont augmenter la masse max euh, et, et ainsi de suite. Donc pendant que tu fais le bah vol, là, là il, bien. comment ils vont Ils l'ont fait puisqu'ils sont en fin, de, en fin de phase de certification là. Ils sont en fin de phase de certification sur le moteur qui devrait arriver dans 15 jours, sur la production du moteur, mais ils n'ont pas encore le TC. Ça, ça devrait arriver avant la fin de l'année. C'est ce qu'ils nous ont dit okay. chez Frangeli. It's time for our okay. yeah. 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 Den Funk hätte ich jetzt.
Christian, thanks for welcoming us at the Katana Cafe in Wiener Neustadt uh, again. Uh, we were uh, here today to, to fly with uh, the DA42 with the new engines. We hear that uh, Austro engines will have uh, their production certificate hopefully before uh, the 1st of uh, December and mm -hmm. that uh, you will uh, solve uh, a lot of problems that we've seen on the market very quickly now on uh, the DA42 and possibly the DA40s uh, just after that. Uh, we were very, very impressed with uh, the DA42. So, what's the next? Uh, what's the next uh, meeting? For, uh, what do you have in stock for us for the next time? First of all, next time you will be able to fly the DA50 with various kinds of engines. Mm -hmm. uh, it will start from 172 horsepower up to 300 horsepower, and then, of course, uh, the DJet will hopefully come very soon. Yeah. So uh, we're making uh, nearly an appointment to go uh, to Canada so to, to fly say, the D-Jet? I would say somewhere in the second quarter of next year you will have the chance to fly the D-Jet in Canada. Uh, we can't wait uh, <laughs> for that. And, uh, but I flew it already several times and I can tell you this airplane is a real good performer. W would you just uh, unveil a little bit of the mystery on, on the D-Jet and tell us what you've seen in flight? Yeah, so the uh, 320 knots is a given, but if you want to cruise very fuel efficient with 290 knots, then your fuel consumption is about 180 liter per hour. And you can even uh, cruise uh, a little bit slower with 145 liters per hour. So we are beating uh, most of the other, even the turboprops in all respects, speed-wise or fuel-wise. That's, that's very, uh, that's very interesting. The, the DA50 is going to be the, the next big program here in, uh, in Wiener Neustadt. Yeah. So the Austro engines with 170 horsepower, and uh, also uh, I hear a pressurized version with. Uh yes, but not everything at the same time, because uh, initially I think that with the uh, DA50 with the 172 horsepower will be a is a very nice performer and uh, it will be extremely fuel efficient and in the moment particularly if we expect higher fuel prices in the near future again, it will be the right airplane for most of the markets. But, of course, there will be another version available about one and a half years later uh, with 300 horsepower turbocharged diesel. And for these who still like to continue with Avgas, there will be also 350 horsepower turbocharged gasoline version. Okay. And what uh, kind of uh, cruising speeds do you expect uh, with uh, the diesel version? Also the, uh, uh, with 170 horsepower, the airplane uh, is about a 160 knots airplane. And normal cruise with 75% is about 140, 152 uh, knots. With a 300 horsepower turbocharged diesel, we expect uh, to be a good 200 knot airplane. And with uh, 350 horsepower turbocharged twin turbo a gasoline engine, about 220, 225 knots. Wow, that's impressive. Well, we're looking forward to fly the DA50 in the very near uh -huh. future and the DJ, of course. Christian, thank you again for welcoming us thank you very in, much. Uh, in Vienna. Yeah. Thank you very much. And to you very soon.